Jean Piaget is world-renounced for his work in developmental and cognitive psychology, and he developed the field of genetic epistemology, which is the study of the origins of knowledge. His work helped people understand how children's minds grow and develop and learn. His studies are now used in schools and universities. He was born on August 9, 1896 in Neuchâtel, Switzerland, and was the oldest child to Arthur and Rebecca Piaget. When my dad talked about his childhood, he would tell me how studious he was. He was addicted to the sciences, especially biology. At the age of 10, his first scientific paper was published about the albino sparrow. He went to work at a local museum working with mollusks. Jean Piaget went on to graduate from Neuchâtel University in 1916, where he studied natural sciences. When he was 22, he earned his doctorate of natural sciences, and he then moved to Paris, France, and worked in Alfred Beignet's laboratory. When Piaget first came to Beignet's lab in Paris, uh, he began working with me in administrating Beignet's intelligence tests to kids. And while he first thought this work was boring, he became interested in the kids' responses to the questions. Not the specific responses, but how they arrived to those responses and the process behind it. And this is what really got Piaget on his path to studying kids for a living. In 1923, Jean Piaget married Valentine Chatenay. Over the course of their marriage, they had three kids consisting of two daughters and one son. Throughout the 20s, he began his own research in childhood development. With the help of his wife, he studied his own kids and their development. As a psychologist dealing with child development, I looked over PJ's theories. He categorized them into four different stages by age group, studying the developmental ability of each child. The first stage is sensory motor, with children that are ages birth to two years old. Children of this stage cannot grasp the concept of object permanence. When an object is placed under a towel and then revealed, the child associates that object with that placement. If the object is moved under another towel and shown to the child, he will still think the object is under the first towel. Hi, give me the donkey. Here's the donkey. The third stage of development is the concrete operational stage. This stage runs between 7 and 11 year olds. Uh, the children in this stage are able to categorize, classify, and understand the conservation of mass, liquid, and number. An experiment to prove this would be to fill two identical glasses with an equal amount of water. When one glass is poured into another glass of a different shape, the child will under understand that there is still an equal amount of liquids between each glass. Okay, do these two glasses have the same amount of water? If I take this glass and pour the water in here, do these two glasses have the same amount of water? Yeah, they do. Why? Because you took the same water from that cup and you poured it into this cup. Do these two glasses have the same amount of water? Yeah. Okay. If I take the water from this glass and pour it in here, do these two glasses have the same amount of water? No. Which one has more water? This one. How come? It's taller. The fourth stage is formal operational. It is 11 years and up. I remember my dad doing this test to me when I was 11. In this stage, children can think logically, hypothetically, and understand abstract ideas. With the sock question, the child was able to understand that without looking in the bag, three colored socks uh, could make a pair. Let me give you a hypothetical situation. Suppose you have a drawer filled with red and blue socks. It's early in the morning and you can't see. And what is a quick way to find out that you have a pair of socks, either red or blue? Without looking in the drawer, you could pull out three socks. 
This way, two would be red and one would be blue, or you could get two blue and one red. You could also get three blue socks or three red socks. Either way, you will have a pair. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of hypothetical questions. First off, um, suppose you have a drawer filled with red and blue socks, and it's dark out and you can't see them. How could you pick out some socks to make sure that you have a pair, either two red or two blue, for the day? Turn the lights on so you can see what socks you want. Uh, no, you can't turn on the lights. This is purely hypothetical. It's dark. How can you make sure that you have two pairs? I don't get it. Why can't you just turn the lights on so you can see? Jean Piaget spent the rest of his life building on his former research on childhood development. He wrote 60 books and hundreds of articles on his findings. Piaget sadly passed away on September 16th of 1980, but his studies live on as one of the largest accomplishments in the history of psychology. Johnny, Johnny, P.O.J. Went to the beach every day Collected mollusks and wrote a book Now he's all grown up, come look Johnny, Johnny, Piaget Studies how kids learn and play Discovered differences of children's ages Categorized it in four different stages Johnny, Johnny, Piaget Number one in leading the way Worked in the lab with Binet Made lots of discoveries and called it a day Johnny, Johnny, Piaget Studies how kids learned and played